Hi, I'm Frank Bullioni, professional super middleweight boxer, and you're watching Ask Men UK. If you want to get into boxing, I suppose the first thing you need to do is maybe look for your, for your local amateur club, because um, that's where you, want, you need to start in the amateur ranks. Um, so maybe join an, join an amateur gym, um, go and see them. Get yourself nice and fit so that you're not going into, into, the, uh, into the gym cold. So you want to be at least have a, a decent level of fitness before you start. So anything from running, swimming, um, rowing, any cardiovascular exercise just to get your heart and lungs to a level where you can work. Um, and then just take it, take it from there. Once you get to the amateur gym, you're there to go. I, um, I joined an amateur gym when I was 13 or 14 and then um, I joined a better amateur gym after a couple of years and then with a little bit more experience um, and then I managed to get, get into uh, the England squad and the Great Britain team after another few years and then um, fortunately I, I managed to turn pro and I've had my first, first years of pro and it's been successful so. Well boxing is it's a mixture between high intensity at times and obviously endurance. If you're, if you're doing eight, eight and ten rounds, you're working hard for half an hour. But within that half an hour, you're putting in almost bursts and sprints. So um, it's great for, for all round sports. I mean, any sport that you do, boxing is going to help you. Boxing is different to fighting. Um, as cliche as that sounds, you've got to be able to keep your head. So I'd say being able to, to keep your head in a fight and then I would say being dedicated. You must you make sure that you do the right training that you need to do and, um, and live the life. I would say these are the most important things to be a boxer. A trainer is, is very important. He's your livelihood in boxing. And what he says goes, really. You need to have, you need to have trust in your training, you need to have confidence. So um, picking the right trainer from the outset is always, um, always an advantage. You've got to rely on the experience of the, uh, of the amateur trainers around you and they'll, they'll know when you're ready. You know in yourself and you, you want to be nice and confident, you almost want to be itching and saying, come on, you need to let me fight now. So when you're feeling that sort of energy and positivity, then, um, then you're ready.